Hi everybody, this is Debbie. This is my original design I'm calling Tropical Impression. I don't believe it was on um, one of my introduction videos, like the first two videos I, I put online on YouTube. But I don't know why this guy is poking its little head out here, but you can just always reach back when it's somebody's misbehaving and get them to line right back up. So anyhow, it's not too complicated a design, but it is definitely one of my style as far as looking back and everything goes. You will need four bars across parallel to each other and it can be done on using one loom and one spare Bar, which is the price of a bag of bands on rainbowloom.com. Um, I, whenever I can, when I'm doing a, a four bar design, I try to only use the um, braces that came with the one loom kit. I mean, this is a, a little loose, but unless you're doing something like really, really tight, even then it'll, it'll probably be okay. So, for my colors, A is the lime green, and I'm going to try using the medieval, what is that, the potion, um, medieval pink, and then color B, which is the mango, up the center, I will be using the sweets, blue or turquoise, I'm not sure which it is. It's not the navy blue, which I don't know why they call it navy blue, because it's not very navy. And then C, where I have the deep purple, I will be using um, another medieval color. Which one is it? The lime green? Neon green. Lime green, neon green, pea green. Oh. And then D, which is the um, jelly red here, I am going to see how the orange works with it, trying to keep with the tropical impression theme. And I'd rather have a tropical impression than a tropical depression. I'm not sure. I took extra media. I took a special course in seventh grade. We went to um, specialize in meteorology and got to go to a special place in Hartford, Connecticut, and study it. But. I was 12 and my youngest is going to be 11 tomorrow, so that was many, many, many years ago. So now I haven't practiced this one. This is my original design. Um, you know, I haven't made any practice um, and so be patient with me. But I looked it over and I think I, I can do it without having to practice first and completely flubbing up. So the first band I'm going to place is my A color, which I will be using for my extension. And this is one room's length. And it just, just fits. But um, I don't really want to put the you know, double length of four pin bars in and make it longer. So for this demonstration, I will just be using one room's length. So my instructions say, place all your A bands first, or almost all of them. So you will do the next band like this, and then you will go straight up the side. And you will do that all the way up to this pin, just stop at the second to the last pin, and then you will do the same on the other side, I didn't like the way that rolled, but these are kind of hard to keep bring down and have them completely non-twisty. They just don't slide. Kind of have to place. So it's real simple. Just up to each side, all the way to looping onto the second to last pin. Boy, you are not staying snap, are you? Let's just hope we don't have any trouble, and if not, I do have extra braces which I can take advantage of and 
you know, if it comes down to that, it will. Usually these snap on, but this thing, it just does not want to even hold. I may try to grab another bar and see if that one fits on this one. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now she's staying. We'll give it a shot. And so that part was super simple. Oh. I did not place it back correctly. I'm not very happy with this. Okay. I'm going to try to bear with it so we can demonstrate how somebody works under pressure <laughs> when her loom does not want to stay together. So the next thing says to place all B, so all my B bands are going up these two. It's kind of weird how it looks. So now you will take B and go up each of the middle bands all the way to the last pin. Another very simple, very straight forward I'll probably, you know what, I'm just going to stand camera and just do this real quick. This is just doesn't take that long. And then I can tell you what to do next. I know this looks weird going past, but for whatever reason, my notes say to wait to finish this up. Let's save that for the last placement, last band placement I should say. So, going as fast as I can. And two more bands and we are done with color B. And you can always just push them down a little bit, give you room, because the next thing we are going to do is take color C and place it right on top of color B. So I'm going to go off camera and do that, but as just right on top of the B colors you're going to place C. Now we are ready to do our final band placement. Now this is my second take on this section. Um, I finished it all up and I pulled it off the loom and I'm like, <laughs> it like just kind of like inside itself it was like all oh, like mm, like this and like oh yeah this is different I guess these bands are you know these type bands yeah they kind of work a little differently I guess I didn't realize <laughs> that a nut is on the fourth band on color D place this across like this and I was doubling them I was practically I mean my loom was ready to cave in it was it was, it was it was a terrible <laughs> and so I was just sitting down redoing it to try to figure out what the heck I went wrong and there you have it oh, I just put lotion on my hands and they are so slippery and you know, the jellies are slippery as it is so yeah I don't I wouldn't be surprised if I launched a couple of these but I'm going to I'm hanging on for dear life. I have a few more to go and then I can start the looping back process. I think it's a pretty little basic. It's it's a little more traditional in design, yet not because it has my twist on it or my loop on it. And it's just something that I started doing and I now it, it may be done by others now, but I hadn't you know seen some of the ways I bands on or loop them back um, there's some of them I haven't seen that I, I really don't have a lot of time to watch other people's videos I do when I can and just to try to keep on top and see what's happening and see all your beautiful designs but I barely have time to get these done it's just so hard but we're going up you know what? I'm rambling about 
my woes and um, after we finish placing the last D band we are going to take the A band up through here and then we will take that same A band oh my gosh those sneeze coming okay it's not gonna happen double it over and then bring it across these two so however um, you do your doubling um, for the cap just do that there so now we are ready to loop back and I just did this last night but I like seeing my notes just to make sure I don't go into another design my brain doesn't switch over to another design I've done it start making something different so the first thing we're going to do is reach this A band and get those out. And then we're going to reach the top band, which is the C color band, and also bring it over to this outer pin, not to its home. And then we bring the B color straight up. So then you're going to reach, make sure you reach inside that D color um, band. It's, especially if you use um, the jelly, it gets kind of transparent and hard to see. And you can go up one side and the other since the design isn't uh, intersecting each other. So for me, it's easier just to do this. So I'll show you. That was one, two, three. Very simple. All the way up to the last decolored band. One, two, three. And here's what it looks like on this side. Make sure you get inside that D color. One, two, that seems strange, which isn't. Three, I'll do a couple more. One, And if that pops off, you just stick it in, back or back on. And you can always use your other hands, other hand on to keep those in place if you need to. So I'll do it one more time. So it's one, two, and three. Very simple. So I will meet you at the end of the loom. Here we, <coughs> excuse me, here is the loom. Almost finished. Looping up the bands. Now, I haven't, you know, played around with this design obviously long enough to see if there's a better, better ending for it, literally. Um, so as it stands now, what happens is we have to just take these two in the middle. Oops, I choose to go inside that. I just see the reflection of, off, of light off of that silver there. Okay, so bring those straight up. And then bring these last two um, A color bands over. Now we are ready to put the extension on and take it off. So reach inside and grab this um, preset first extension band. Pull both out, put back on the hook. Turn your hook upside down and gently guide it the other band through. And 
keep repeating that for as long as you want, or I go halfway so that my little clip is in the middle. You'll notice these coming. Um, that's why I'm saying it, so I don't startle you all with a big old sneeze. So you always know if you say it out loud, it somehow psychologically messes with you, so you don't. Now I'm putting on the clip, I think. My hands are still greasy. So I'm in the lotion. I know, I'm, I'm really sorry, I mumble. Um, and I shouldn't. I shouldn't speak more eloquently and with more precision and with an even tone. But I get lost in my work and I forget. Try to do this without hurting myself. Okay, All right. I'm going to use my little extra hook here to get those things off and then. Right off. Oh, much better. Yeah. If you want to see the video of my first attempt at this, it's, it's in my recycle bin. <laughs> um, much nicer. Oops. Bedtime meds. I never go to bed when I'm supposed to. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. Okay, there it is. I like it. Uh, I think I. You know, for the um, festive interpretation, these are little um, subdued colors, so it's it's like um, a spring springtime as opposed to a summertime tropical. Um, these colors are definitely more vibrant and better um, represent the name of it. And so I'm sure some of you will come up with really good, good color schemes when you make this. But um, I like it. It lays flat, but it's nice and thick. Um, here's the other side. It's almost got like a like like a rippling water effect with using the silver and the pearl bands, the medieval and the pearl. So here you have it. You see a little bit of the pink, uh, orange in the middle. I mean, obviously the the red is more popping there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make another one and try uh, more intense colors, but I do like these. They're just not as vibrant and cost contrasting as I would envision um, tropical colors to be. So let's finish this off. And I do the second half of the extension. The same way most people do their extensions, only not quite as long. So now I'm going to take my cap on the other end and stretch it out like this to prepare for looping back my final four bands. Alrighty, so all we do now is find the other half of the clip. Or the clip, not the other half. The clip on the other half of the bracelet. And put it on this half. And we find the right side. This is a little more correct because it, it, it shows the side on the design. On the side better where... I don't know, I guess... Actually, it's kind of cool this way in. Let's see what it looks like. It's weird how, um, you know, the, the specialty bands are thicker and they play a little differently. And, um, while you see the nice straight bands here and then the straight little purple line, which I, I like when, um, when bands do that, make a little line there. I mean, it's actually the green one, but it's hard to see because sometimes you see you know, more of the silver and more of the green. But it gives its own... Um, personality, it's all 
wonderful little ripply um, watercolors. So there you have it. This is Tropical Impression and again I don't know why this guy's popping out. Um, so which end is that? Just to compare. See there? They're all tucked in up here. So um, I don't know. I guess it's a band that just got away or I I didn't I didn't um, loop it right, so just pretend that doesn't exist right there. And if you like Tropical Impression, let me know either on Instagram at Deb's Thing or on YouTube, of course. Um, and if you'd like to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.